All right, so the U.S. Justice Department announced today that they shut down uh, and are arresting uh, people who apparently were working at a secret Chinese police station located in Chinatown in New York City. Now, that sounds really scary on the surface. Wow, uh, the Chinese were operating their own police station in New York City? Well, aren't the Chinese police supposed to be policing China, not New York City? And when you put it that way, it does sound really bad. Like, wow, could you imagine if you were walking down the street and some guy just started yelling at you in Chinese and whacking you with a billy club, you know, saying, uh, you know, hey, uh, you can't be you can't be carrying a gun. That's illegal in China. Or maybe, uh, you know, you'd be violating some other law, you know, like in Singapore, you can't chew gum on the street. That's illegal. They'll beat you with a billy club. Could you imagine if the Singaporeans opened their own police station in New York City and, you know, beat people with a club every time uh, someone was chewing gum? I mean, it'd be pandemonium. But unsurprisingly, once you read into it a little bit, even if even um, the mainstream media, um, you learn that this is not exactly what it sounds like and it sounds much more like just a routine foreign government spying now i read an associated press article on this because i feared the associated press is you know an amalgamation of the mainstream media here in the u.s and this should be the most compelling case that they're going to make for this you know they are going to do the justice department's bidding and try and make this sound as good as possible and i read the ap story and um i didn't read anything particularly bad that they're accusing these chinese guys of in fact um the two guys who were arrested uh aren't chinese they're americans uh they're americans with chinese names uh, who apparently were working for the chinese government but of course, none of the actual Chinese people who are charged uh, are going to be arrested because they live in China, not in the United States. So these uh, two American men uh, are who are accused uh, of s serving as Chinese secret policemen in New York City, uh, based on the article I read, don't seem to have done much policing. Uh, the most that they are accused of is on trying to track down uh, people who are critical of China in the United States. Um, and the article, I don't believe, states that these guys like even, you know, went to those people, you know, or tried to scare them or tried to shut them up. They're not accused of like, you know, kidnapping anyone and taking them back to their secret police station and, you know, beating them up. And, you know, it, I don't know. Maybe the AP was just really hiding the ball and not doing a good job of selling the Justice Department's um uh case here because i didn't have i did i wasn't able to watch the justice department's press conference um i was busy then so i read an article later and so i would think if there was anything true you know really truly juicy and salacious to report on the uh, these people would have done it because the ap is going to give us america's side of the story this, after all, is Merrick Garland's Justice Department. This is the Biden Justice Department. These folks are the media's best friends. These are the same people who are putting the January Sixers in prison for life uh, for essentially committing no crime. It sounds to me like these two uh, New Yorkers, one is from the Bronx, the other was from Manhattan, um, and they're old guy, older guys too. You know, these are not strapping young, you know, jackbooted thugs. This was a 59-year-old man and a 61-year-old man. And it seems to me their crime is, I guess, collaborating with the Chinese government um, and their activities here in the United States. Now, if a um, foreign government arrested uh, two of its citizens for collaborating with American agents... Uh, and trying to serve America's bidding in that country, uh, America would probably sanction such a country and would call them anti-democratic and, and all this normal st you know, stuff and say it's a dictatorship. And so using the State Department's own standards seems to me like the Justice Department is, in, is engaging in an anti-democratic crackdown. Uh, you know, the, the AP states that these two men were not registered as foreign agents, but as far as I know, um, you just because you happen to like 
a foreign government and you know you want to collaborate with them and maybe do them some favors run them run some errands or you know work in their office i don't think you have to register as a foreign agent i'm pretty sure that's only if you're a lobbyist remember they tried to charge michael flynn with that and i think they convicted him but but michael flynn was lobbying if i remember correctly members of congress on behalf of the turkish government and he did not disclose that he was uh, a foreign agent of turkey i think that was michael flynn and so by the looks of it, um, it seems that the Justice Department is persecuting uh, two American men for um, being sympathetic to the Chinese government. And even if I don't like the Chinese government and um, maybe wouldn't approve on a personal level with whatever these men were up to, uh, it doesn't seem like they're being accused of any real crimes. These seem to be trumped up. Um, maybe the other 34 guys who, you know, are, of course, not in the United States and can't be arrested, maybe there are real crimes against them. But as far as the two guys who were actually arrested, it seems to me like they're patsies. I mean, they're being accused of having um, communications with Chinese officials and then deleting those communications. It's like, okay, um, do we want to go down the road of, admit, of, of saying that it's... Uh, uh, it should be a crime when people in other countries engage in communications with American officials and then delete those communications? If so, um, that would seem to make the, the U.S. State Department, uh, and certainly the CIA, but the State Department at the very least, um, a transnational criminal organization. And that's not at all how the State Department and the National Endowment for Democracy and the CIA and all their cutouts, that's not at all how they bill what they do. They just say, oh, well, we're promoting democracy. And sure, you know, we collaborate with people in other countries like Hungary and Venezuela to try and subvert uh, the established government. But, um, you know, that's all in the name of promoting democracy when we do it. You know, when China does it, though, oh, that's bad. That's terrible. It's a violation of our sovereignty. And so... Um, under normal circumstances, you know, I might be able to jump on board and say, yeah, you know, good job, Justice Department. You know, you're protecting our sovereignty and rooting out, you know, Chinese uh, government influence in our country. But uh, because I know for a fact that my government does the exact same thing, I can't help but roll my eyes at this. Unless I see something more concrete that these two guys, um, you know, are accused of, like, you know, if they ki kidnap someone. And beat him up, and said, "You better not talk any. You better not talk bad about uh, China on on Twitter.com anymore." Um, you know, if they did something like that, okay, I would say, well, okay, they should be arrested for that. But it's not a crime to just be an American and uh, support the Chinese government. What's next? Are they going to throw Jackson Hinkle in prison with the January Sixers too? So anyway, that's my hot take on this. I'm going to look into it a little more, see if I can find anything that these guys did, but. I mean, based on what I read, oh, they, they helped track down some American in California who has anti-Chinese beliefs. And it's like, okay, well, they tracked him down. What happened? Did they do anything? Did they kill this person? Did they try and hurt them? Um, you know, but, I mean, if the accusation is that, um, you know, they harass some people online, uh, well, that's their freedom of speech. If these guys, uh, you know, clearly are of Chinese descent, but they're U.S. citizens, um, if they like the Chinese government and they want to go online and exercise their right to free speech as Americans and advocate on behalf of the Chinese government and, and troll uh, people who don't like China, why is that not their right? I really am, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying, you know. I'm not sympathetic to the Chinese government at all. I don't like them. Wouldn't want to live there. But I uh, can't, can't help but, um, but chuckle at the hypocrisy. So with that said... I will see you folks back here tomorrow.